Yeah. Rhythm Cafe. Yeah. We're back. We are back after a, a long week. Let me let me put us in the cafe. Whoa, whoa hey, yeah. That's important. The cafe is now open. It's open. It's here. <sighs> Look at that windy, windy soundtrack it's, in the back. Let's open the windows to the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Did we remember to close the parasols outside? I don't. Is that actually our cafe, or is that just another place we decided to use for the opening? Uh, we throw people off. We we, we thought we'd uh, expand a little. Mm -hmm. We didn't tell the people outside. Good. Okay. Watch out for the the, the Casa Obake. They will eat you. Hey, what's up? We you know what we should get for the cafe though. What what what? what one of those um, traveling cafe carts. Mmm. We should have a traveling cafe. Yeah, like one of the kinds you, you get like a bike on the back end of it too? Yeah. Yes, perfect. Big espresso machine on the front. Blender. <laughs> In case we want to make margaritas. And, and some kind of uh, turn style musical instrument. Mm. Maybe a theremin. Yes, <laughs> so a hand cranked theremin. <laughs> That's how they work, right? You have to play with one hand, one hand on the crank, one hand to control volume, and your head to control pitch. I don't know why I thought it was safe to drink anything when when you started that moment. <laughs> this is actually more difficult than it seems to do in a convincing manner. Because <laughs> you can't just honk honk and because that'll just be woo woo woo. All right. Okay. You know let's, what? Let's go to the roof. This is no longer let's go to the uh, roof. no longer Thurman time with Ian. This is Rhythm Cafe. I, I, that's, I think we're done with the Thurman. Yeah. I, unless you have more. No, no, okay, no. Okay. I did my Star Trek I, thing. Seemed, I did the, it, the it crank. Seemed, it seemed like you were you were finishing up. Uh, <laughs> you, you needed an out. Yep. And I, I thank you so much. Hey, you know what? We have a game that we are in the middle of, and let's load it. It's called Gel Metal. Yes. Yeah. It's for the Switch. It involves. Swing the drums. Your arms around. Yeah. This is a uh, our game. It's it's the, the best, best night and the worst, worst predator. predator. I'm was I the outside girl or I the think, inside boy? I think you were the outside boy and I was the inside girl. This What's going on yeah. this early? Oh no, we're backwards. Okay, <laughs> this works better. <laughs> Kichi Yochi Baths! Ah, uh, neat! This is the hot springs place from before! Just the thing to wash away our exhaustion after fighting those octa jerks. Right, I'm the inside. This is the inside girl, and right, I could fuse the two. Let's drop by after school, it's fun! Me in a woman's bath? Are you nuts? Oh, please, you've been taking baths in my body for plenty long now. Get over it. Only because I've been keeping my eyes closed. You can close your eyes. And I want to go to the hot springs. The hot springs. I want to go. 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 This person is my inside voice as well. Hey, Press, what's the matter? Ah, ah just a bit of a headache. You sure? All those battles against aliens was really taking a toll on you. Hot springs. <gasps> Ooh, yes, 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 let's go all together. But, wait! Flap. Flap. Whoa, what are you? What? Ellipses. Oh, nicely dodge. Considering grading. What? Who are you? I am Shrimpy and an assassin. The Octoids have hired me to eliminate you and your friends. An assassin? I'll give you two days, as is our tradition, to say goodbye to your planet. Enjoy it! We shall meet in two days. He's coming to kill us! In two days! You sure? In two days. This, this, so I'll spend a good quarter of a day. Here. So, for those of you who may be confused, because maybe you missed <laughs> last week, there was... Oh, yeah, uh, right. Uh, there was a boy walking home. He got abducted by aliens. There was another girl there who was also abducted by aliens. Uh, the aliens, who are octo... 
octopuses, mm -hmm. sometimes squids, some uh, also squids and now shrimps, mm -hmm. uh, decided that uh, we were awful people for sending the Voyager into space mm -hmm. and playing metal music, which I would like to remind you there is no metal music on the Voyager, it's all classical. And that metal music hurts their ears. Yes, it's true. It's all classical music on the Voyager. There's, there's children playing too, and I think they have some rock music on there. Like there is jazz. definitely not metal though. I'm going to check on this because I, I do own a copy of the uh, a copy of the Voyager Golden Record. Anyway, um, uh, and and uh, they decided those two people would be the emissary, except only one person could be the emissary. So they threw us both into some sort of soup vortex. And then we woke up in the girl's body with both voices. Yes, you do. The guy has control over the body. Um, the girl does not, but she is in his head. This is a very old anime trope. Yes. It happens. It's not a great anime trope. No. But it happens. But it's better than the alternative, which was boy is producer with the band and is there for no reason. Yes. So my my thought is what they wanted to do was they wanted to have a reason for the band to exist, mm -hmm. and they wanted it to be an all-girl band. And But if we did that, then how does the player not know how to play the songs and just be awesome? Exactly. Well, then you need a character who doesn't know how to do it. Well, we'll make him in charge, and we'll make him a boy for some reason. Not really sure why he has to be a boy. But he is his anime tropes. Two girls in one body? That's Two girls in one body? Yeah, no. Odd. Too e yeah, too easy. So, as far as I'm concerned, Boyd does not really exist. He's just there. But he doesn't really yeah. exist. He's not important. They, they really should have gone with the uh, the Rappa the Rappa style explanation of that, which is just fall down, forget. Now can't drums no more. Can you... If, if I said, okay, eh, Ian, mm -hmm. what's the first anime you think of, uh, of uh, two characters in the same brain? Doesn't have to be doesn't have to be opposite gender, but two characters in the same brain. Two characters, same brain. What anime would come to your mind for Damn you? Damn it! First one comes to mind is actually Mobile Suit Gundam, but I know that's not the right one. No, no, for you, what it's. Yeah, that, that's the that's, first one that's coming to mind right now. It's just the, that's the first one I can think of where there people are sharing thoughts. If it's another person solely inside the brain, it's actually uh, Hikaru no Go. Yeah. So Ikaru no Go's done that, mm -hmm. uh, Dean Angel's done that, but they do a transformation type thing, but the character is still kind of also in the brain. Um, the one that I can think of, the only one I've seen that I can think of where it's a boy-girl combo mm -hmm. in the same brain is um, Ginben Kaleidoscope, hmm. which is a figure skating anime about a Japanese figure skater okay. who gets possessed by a Canadian ghost who was a sky pilot. Go on. It's eight episodes long. Mm -hmm. He gets, he basically goes to heaven because he died doing some sort of trick performance thing. He gets to heaven's gates and heaven's like, I'm sorry, we don't have any room. Please come back in a hundred days. The clouds drop out from under him. He just falls and plummets straight down, lands in the Japanese girl figure skater who is not happy about him being there because he's annoying. Also, his name is Pete Pumps. And um, he really dislikes the taste of tomatoes. So once she finds that out, she constantly keeps gorging herself on tomatoes to punish him. Heather, the reason I'm going to believe that all of this is true is because I've been your friend long enough that I think I know how fast you can pull things out of your ass. And this is just all a little bit too quick for this not to be I real. I showed this in Anime Club. Holy hell. In the 2000s. How did I not know about A, this, and B, why, how? It's, it's worth watching. It's actually pretty good because they don't, they actually don't really, like, like they do that thing in the beginning where, where, where she realizes he can see everything she, he, she can see. Mm. And so she's mad because she's like trying to blindfold herself yep. so that she can take baths and whatnot. But they only do that for like the first part where where that's going on. And then mostly it's just her gorging, like talking to someone and being like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. And him being like, oh, but I bet you can and thing. And she's just like, shut up, tomato. <laughs> and everyone's just like, you've been eating a lot of tomatoes lately. Just like, I just really love tomatoes. There's like an entire 
thing in the fridge just of tomatoes, and sometimes she'll just like go up to it and just jam tomatoes in her mouth. Clearly, the uh, the, the Kago gaming feed uh, tomato feeding robot was made just for this moment. Anyway, yeah, this show. Oh wow, it's a real show that super exists. It's based off a light novel series. Huh. That I didn't find out until recently. So, Heather. Yes. Uh, coin laundry. Why am? Oh, never. Coin laundry is the worst. I know, right? Everybody get here for the coin laundry. We're going to washing machines. Bad. Sad, sad. Oh, I laundry. had to go. No, I've never been. Ah. Laundry's done. We're, we're cheap. Laundromats? Sounds kind of fun. I'm a bourgeois. I hey, know it's super fun. It smells warm. Are, Are you, you going? going today? Yeah, but you know, the electronics store first. No, if you're gonna go, I'm assuming the electronics store is not far away. Go to Coin Laundry, throw your laundry in the thing, and then leave. I mean, someone might steal your clothes, but you gotta do something while you're doing Coin Laundry. The old whole team wants to go to the laundry too. Ain't that nifty? Yeah. Coin Laundry Masters. This is literally the only part of the game that I don't care for, is oh, this sure. big, um, like weird chat room thing. It seems like it could be interesting reading, but it also seems just kind of out of place. It just, it feels slow. Yeah, yeah. It's it slow. feels slow to compared to the rest of, the, of what's going on, so I, I don't care for it. It would be kind of nice if they held those conversations in this part of the game. Mm. Like just bring them up. I do, I do like that they do bring this up to remind you about what the stats are. Yes. All right, what should we do here? Uh, oh, that's the other thing. There's a part of the game where you have some stats, and by doing things throughout the day, you can alter your stats, which make you play better. Yep. It's supposed to make the song easier. We should go take out the electronic store with uh, our good friend Shimi. Oh, right, because there's an event. What's up? Just shopping. Just shopping. Just shopping. Stop it right there, Sheeny Dory! Ah. That wasn't my voice. Oh, crap. Hi, Kumeda! Oh, Shino! Did you see Shin Dory? Ah! Uh, no, not that I can call. Oh, now that she's like she got supposed to go home. The ellipses. Our school rules say you gotta go home straight away after school. You're not allowed to do things and have fun. It's go out, go home and study. You go home too. Okay. Is that a real thing in Japan? Like they show it in anime all the time, but I don't. The uh. The whole school rules about not dawdling on your way home from school. Yes. And like things like not having after school jobs and and. Oh yeah, no, that's those sorts of uh, rules are super existent. Not okay. for every school, of course, but. No, I was just curious because I see it in anime quite a bit, but also sometimes not, and it's a little confusing yeah. if you don't know. I think it's more of a private school thing. Most of the time, so. Oh, probably because of the uniforms. Yeah. They don't want people wearing their uniforms, basically wearing the school brand. Yeah, associating and the school with the. With that activity. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. sense. Public school, too, so this is a gray feather, so. Not something I, I ran into, but yeah. All very legit. Oh, a little too close. Yay, I managed to go shopping and no one saw me. Hooray. Hooray. We, hung out, we hung out at the electronic store. We watched this boring that's guy on the news. Super, I was going to say that's super relatable, but then you had to go make it boring. Sorry. Anyway, we, we watched this cool guy on the news. And we got a friend badge. I should make up some friend badges to give to people when they get to a certain friend rank. <laughs> Here, you just became my friend. It's like six months later, they're in your birthday party. Yeah, you just hit rank two. Super condescending. <laughs> but also really kind of weirdly sweet. Oh, it's super weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've, tr we've triggered an event with her now. I just, all I could think of was the levels in Animal Crossing pocket camp. 
where, where your friendship levels only go up the more you give people stuff. Mm. <laughs> hey, we might as well continue on uh, hanging out with this girl. Mm -hmm. We should probably make sure we get like a practice in or something too, so mm -hmm. we can learn some new notes. Kitty, 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 kitty. Wah. Yeah! Look, my face is in a smile. I have the offerings of the food. Oh, hey, it's Shimi. Wonder what she's up to. <gasps> ah, you, there you are. Come on, eat it. Eat it now. Eat it. A cat? Not that you can see, but yes. What's up, Franco? You, you like cats, huh? Just the invisible ones. Invisible cats? Yeah, I can't leave the invisible ones alone. Because once you do, you can't find them again. That makes sense. So, shut up. Right. Ah, oh, she can be cute. A super cutie. What? I'm, I'm a what now? Oh, no. It's gonna make me throw up. There I'm not she... cute. I'm running away. There she goes. Oh, shy as ever. Tee hee meow. 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 I was trying to do the meow as a wolf howl, and it didn't really work. <laughs> meow. Meow. Well, she's no longer our special friend. Nope. Wait, did our we did we lose our friend badge? I hope not. I think we can check her out. We. That's the, I guess that's the thing, Ian. If you're gonna give out badges of friendship mm -hmm. levels, uh, is it possible to go down on the friendship levels? I mean, and does that mean you will go up to people and say, I'm sorry, you, you got deducted 10 points, it drew you under, I'm gonna need friendship yeah. level 2 badge back. Yeah, last week's party kinda sucked, James, so uh, I'm gonna have to take you back down to level 3. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got, uh, we got a bunch of badges. Or one badge, I guess. Oh, right, because of the yeah. star levels. And there's a cat there. So they know how to make cats happen, just not in that event that we watched. All right, uh, practice is... Which one of these things here? <laughs> Mystic Man says you should just walk up to them and tear the badges off their coat. <laughs> Oh yeah, can the badges you make basically be like, um, be like, like army stripes or whatever, where they like add yeah. levels? Yeah. Like a military rank. Yeah. Oh, you beautiful prince. So huge. Cool. Okay, so we want hammer beats. off the hard mode. We went back to noodle mode last time. So, uh, somebody asked if the Joy-Cons were good for drumming. Mm. 
I think that they work better in this game than they work on the Taiko game. Yes. But I think that's because the Taiko game wants you to hit one way and then try and do a twist for the other way. Yeah. Whereas this one really is just looking for a movement on either one. Yep. Specifically, though, so up it's simpler. There. Uh, do you want to give a practice run? Uh, I think I want. I'd like to do solo practice just because okay. I think we can look up different bits. Yeah. Nice, whereas, whereas group practice gives you specific beats. Yeah. Here's the hot rhythm pattern I recommend. You pick whichever one you want, though. Nobody listens to me. Oh. Oh yes, I remember Toxic. Toxic's the one where you just basically yep. do this, and as long as you can keep the pattern going, great. Oh, that sounds hard. Now you're committed. That sounded like a challenge. <laughs> Do you want to try any of these out? Or? Yeah. I hope I did the right one. Yeah, we can cool, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. We're not doing much else. For the footsteps of the Christ as he carried his crucifix down the street. I think that might not have been the tempo he was going at. That just seems really <laughs> hard. Chunk, 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 chunk. You want to try a different one? Uh, I'm actually ready to get to the, uh, the thing. Up to the aliens. Yeah. Hey, we got that raid, that plant posse in the chat. Oh, yeah, welcome, uh, plant posse. And girls so we and got seven hearts. Uh, uh, I don't want to go to school. No. Nope. Um, what can what can boost our activity? Uh, fast food fast joint. Food? Let's go get fast food. It's the joint. Hung out at fast food joint. Face. Everyone moved around the board. We're going home. Because we ran out of stamina. <laughs> Just like real life. Then we got on the phone. Earbuds? Uh, you why? Uh, yes, no, Ian. Earbuds? Generally, no. Generally, no. N. Big fat N. That's fair. Adam and she's pointing out rightly that uh, and the... Uh, Hisoni Tomasotan mm. looks very different. This is a very similar art style. Yeah, it's true. I, I, I like it. What's that supposed to be? What do you prefer? Headphones. Duh. Headphones. They're good. Earbuds are not... Nah, sure, but headphones are better. There's... Ear, earbuds do things. Yes, they do, but there's, there's no, no right, right answer. answer. What do you prefer, Prez? Mm. Uh, 
Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm in control. Earbuds hurt my ears. That's a fair, yep. fair complaint. Yep. Uh, headphones, you don't have to worry about making noises, even outside. What? Sound leakage. You, yeah, you keep all your sound inside your head. But what, you're out, what, you hear the headphones? Studying, restaurants, it's great. Noisy places, yes, I have noise cancelling headphones for that reason. This. Yes, good ones are expensive. Dum 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 dum. Word. 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> let's decide on a day then. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay. Just yeah, let's just peer in on conversations. Phone convo over. Hey, bookstore. Bookstore event triggered. Bookstore event. We make friends. Get in the bookstore. With the client girl. Yep. The phone pole. Uh, that's under play. I think I passed it. No, I didn't. Yep, there we are. Harry! Had anything interesting lately? Okay. Something's weird. Ah, sorry. Sounds interesting! Not to mention very Kia. Really? <laughs> when it comes down to it, there probably aren't too many people who've seen real aliens. Shock! What a terrible idea! The end! Goodbye! I know I like story. to end all of my conversations with, what a terrible idea! Yep. I like to end all of my conversations with, the end! Oh, that seems like a better way to notify people that we have, we have ended. I oh wow, need a we have morality badge. badge. We are so moral. We are 20 points moral. 21 points moral. Oh yeah, friend badge! We've turned an event at the electronics store. We're gonna keep following her. Yep. Because everybody's friends. That's gonna take down one of our moralities. Oh no. You know, the electronics store, the immoral place. Will they take away our badge? No, because it'll take us to 20. Uh, so we're still badge safe. Perry! Fancy meeting you here, taking a look around. Wow! Do, do you even know what a pre pre pregio means? Question mark! You know, a pregio sweeps. Sweeps! Yes! Sweeps! Got a little fucking. Which. Wait! What's. Did, did you mean the. the Ha! Uh, I'll have to pass! I'm drowning in guitar lingo as it is! Well, looks like you're still as clueless as ever. Uh, yeah, I might be married to Beach, but my- our sense- our conversations don't went, end with that is a bad idea. <laughs> not, not all of them. Nearly. No, not usually. They start with that sometimes. <laughs> But they don't usually end with that. Ooh, Kvelt! What was that again? I... It was important, wasn't it? <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't even care. I, that's fair. But we should probably find out? I mean, we have 40, so we're probably just good at yeah, it. Yeah, we probably have enough Kvelt. Um... 27 points. What do we want to... Passion. Yeah, our passion's pretty low. Can get us a lot of passion. There's cafe. Cafe. Sketchy Ooh, shop. Sketchy shop will take us way up, but they'll lose our morality. Mm. Well, I guess the cafe it is. Yep. Want to get our passion, but not at the cost of our morals. 
You see, our passion is to work at a cafe. <laughs> There we go! Yes! Now we just need to be active in our life. Oh, we can do that with the fast food. Oh, hey! Oh, so close to a back. To a fast food activity choice. <coughs> I think we only need one more point so we can find. Yeah, here. We'll go hang out at the fast food joint. Yes, where we work. Hey! Full badge. Is there anything better in the life than I have instant mint chocolate ice cream? Don't mind if I do. So I realize I just put those down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two days have passed. I trust you know of no regret. Chocolate chip mint ice cream gone without a single lick. I'll never forget you. You're going to pay. This was probably two dollars. <laughs> I need to go grab water. Okay. If you wanna. You I will start. begin the drumming. You can do the drumming. I will be right boom, back. Boom, boom, chink. Battling Shrimpion! The Shrimpion will try to disrupt your performance with his laser gun. If he hits you, you'll briefly be unable to hear any sounds. Try to hold out until it goes away. Symbol block. If the Shrimpion tries to fire his laser at you, you can stop him by hitting the symbols. If he holds up his gun, smash those symbols! That'll block the laser! the explanation of of what what they did crashing where are the cues for the beats there are none yeah it's all in your that's, head that's why you do the practice sessions to figure out how to do the things yep. and then you have to just do them anyway, yeah yeah edges badge 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 Badge! 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 Got a lot of badges. Mm-hmm. Yep, we don't need to watch this again. It's unless true. we do. I think you hold the A button down. How could I have been defeated? Why are you so powerful? We'll meet again. Goodbye! Invisibility ray. He used some sort of cloaking device. The energy field released by its suit reflects the light from the surroundings. It is today some high spec tech. The fine speed the device is used by the jungle of Central, Central America. Something. Uh, yeah, okay, cool, we won. So, also hot springs? Let's go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go home. For... Nah, we're going together. Wait! Kidnapping. 
Ah, this is great. Yep, absolutely. Gasp! Wow. Not only is there a high concentration of iron, nickel in this water is also a great deal of dunite and basalt as well. Long will the hen there, unless she is burrowed in this way to the earth's men. Uh, hey, Prez. What's wrong? Why are you over in the corner? Hi, you should come over here with the rest of us. Ah! Splash! Come on! Ah, uh, yes. Oh, that was fun. But that show was a surprise. I didn't think the press was the type who'd get dizzy. Oh, wait, that's you. Right! We should totes come back, though. Next episode! There's a giant monster and things happen. What could it be? Wait! It couldn't be it, could it? Fireworks? Oh, man, festival time. <sighs> We are, just, we are just go, going through. You, my understanding is there's 13. Oh, okay. Because I, I was trying to figure out how long the game was. And oh, no my one, God. No one, no one said, but I believe there was a thing that said there were, like, 13 songs you do in story mode. Which means... 13 just, episodes. Yeah, 13 episodes. Oh, my God. When does this anime actually come? Save. Okay, am I bad at- No, no, you've saved, <laughs> now you have the back button to get off the save screen. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, I know, I've been thinking squid aliens and now shrimps. Dude, I've been thinking about them. There's sure a bunch of different kinds of- I forgot I had to push the button to move forward. I, wonder... forward. <laughs> I had the same problem. I was just like, hey, I don't know why I'm thinking about these things like... and why things aren't happening, but hey, think there are others? Taiyaki sure is good. Really good! Oh wait, I'm saying different things! It wouldn't be surprised me if there were other kinds of taiyaki out there! Yeah, good point. What, what do you think we get like jellyfish taiyaki or maybe Suki Kuku Humbers taiyaki? Excuse us! There might even be aliens out there that look just like us! And what if they blend in so well that they're just hiding in plain sight? And, you know, like, like all the Taiyaki just hides on you. You can't see it. Yeah, aliens and Taiyaki. I want to fight both those things. Yeah, I want to eat them both, too. Um. Wow. Oh, excuse us, us. Also, Taiyaki is great. Yes. It's, it's, it's a, uh, like a, a cakey bread. It's just delicious. Filled with either cream or uh, uh, red, red bean, bean paste. paste. Yeah. Red bean paste is great. That's what she's eating right now. Not a deep fried fish. Don't worry. Hey, so we're on SoundCloud and we come from Planet X. You may refer to us as Zan Zan, your emissary, and you're one of her friends. Correct, correct? Would you mind accepting our challenge, challenge? You're what? They seem different. Like, Kind of aggressive. Are you allies with those octopus aliens? Octopus, no. We're the octoid slave slaves. He orders us to face you in combat. That, 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 that. We shall come by and issue the challenge challenge. Can we do a new challenge? Can we do some, like a volleyball challenge or something? I might be good at that. Wait, your planet was taken over by octoids? Because if so, there's no need for us to fight. We can fight against those Octa Jerks together! Ah, oh, well said. No, we cannot, Dot. They told us that if we don't defeat you, they'll do unspeakable things to our friend friends. If you run away from you, they will meet the same fate fate. Ah, oh, bullies. These poor... Whatever you are. That's nuts nuts! We have no choice but to defeat Pete you you. It's our only op Chun Chun. That's not true. There's got to be a way you can avoid fighting and maybe things. We shall return in two days. Dime, dime. We are sorry. This is our only choice, choice. Hey, wait. Time for a phone conversation. Station. <laughs> I wonder if, uh... 
I, I wonder if they, in, in like Japanese, they had maybe a specific kind of uh, uh, talking uh, pattern mm -hmm. that they didn't know how to translate over here, so Ooh, they just wanted like, yeah, the double probably. words at the end. So, but like popcorn flavors. Uh, I'm gonna say N. No, you're not uh, a fan of durian flavored popcorn. No, I, I I like butter flavor. Well, like like I like the flavor of butter and salt upon my popcorn and some 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 garlic. But no powder. additional flavors. Generally not. No. Mm. Maybe seasoning salt. That's it's not a, like caramel corn. Yeah, no, I'm seeing caramel corn. Okay, I'll do caramel corn. Yes, mm -hmm. I'll do a caramel popcorn. Okay. Jeez. So, can we add like the third option of maybe? Yeah. Like shrug emoji? It, this is a, a desperate need of a, it depends. But I guess that's what the discussion is about. Oh, tough one. Okay. Really that many different flavors? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Telephone pole. I see a lot of specialty shops. Oh, that's true. They have those shops in the oh, mall. Oh, yeah. The, the mall. It's been a while since I've been into a mall. I've never mm -hmm. gone to the popcorn stand. I just, I don't go to the mall and go, oh, you know what I really want is popcorn, flavored pay, popcorn while walking around I just the mall. want to pay a lot of money for some small bounce of popcorn that probably, probably some flavor that's not good. Yeah, I guess butter works. It's probably why it's still around. Now the real question is, uh, eating popcorn with things other than just hands. I, uh, for a while, did eat popcorn with chopsticks, mm -hmm. uh, just because it didn't, it, it, then I didn't get stuff on my hands. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I actually quite enjoyed doing that. I'm super okay with chopsticks. I, I go right to spoon. Like oh, I've seen people use spoons, yeah. I, I like the chopsticks, but they slow me down. I just want to shovel that in. Mm, and, that's fair. And have my hands be free of, of soil. Mm -hmm. I didn't think they started talking about the movies or something. No. I mean, we could go back, but we're nope. not going to. I kind of liked our conversation yeah, better. Yeah, I think that's what we do from now on, is not, we actually... Not, not do you put flavors on your popcorn, but how do you eat your popcorn? I think from now on, we, we just take the question and have our own discussion yeah, while we so just let this happen. Yeah, seems better. Yeah. Is that a skirt that's... I think it might be a lampshade. <laughs> or Either a way, trash it's can. really weird. Anyway. Clothing store. I'm going shopping. Or we're working there. I didn't really look at which one it was. Well, we'll find out now. The durian popcorn thing, Ooh. by the way, comes from uh, uh, the, the latent game I was playing. There was a thing where someone was like, we have a special edition of durian flavored popcorn. Yes. Character totally wanted to get it. We did not get our durian flavor popcorn. That is maybe for the best. Here we go. Also, uh, further questions from mm. the chat. Best way to make popcorn, and I agree with I agree with Dark Morford here. Whirly pop, stove top, crank thing. Oh, I don't know if I know what that is. Ooh, yeah, it's just like a pan with a really made of aluminum with a really thin wall, uh, like a pot about that big but with a wooden handle to crank on the back of it huh. that turns these two tiny wire arms around a pole in the center to just keep the popcorn moving. I don't so think I've ever seen one of those. They, it's really good popcorn because you can use oil. So I'll often use uh, bacon fat okay. instead of just regular oil. Or sometimes if I'm feeling saucy, I'll get some of the chili oil from the cooking and uh, make some spicy popcorn. It sounds like it'd be a lot easier to get everything popped than in the air popper, which well, is kind of the problem I have. Because you're also using hot oil, it kind of fries the outside, so you get that more movie theater quality texture to it uh, as well. Yeah, okay. it's, it's just, it's better overall. Yeah, alright. I, right. I would, I'd believe that. Next time there's a party over my place, remind me and I'll put on a pot of popcorn. I, I will have to wait till my braces come off of popcorn. That sounds like a good time for a party. <laughs> because Andrew Andrew told me the popcorn was not worth it when you have braces on it. I fully believe him. Good, good to know. Let's go to this clothing store, though. Cannot sous vide popcorn. Sorry. <laughs> ah, I, I have a few ideas. I'm going to go back in time and kill Bobby Darren. What? Never mind nothing. <laughs> 
I, for me, I think we should, should absolutely maybe not do that. Ah, yes! Time about busted snare drums. That's a good time. Yeah, that was very good. I'll see if you can kill Bobby Dale. Yeah, I was... I, I lost track. I don't know what plot point we're going after. What about you, Harry? Who are you glad that you haven't killed? <laughs> it's, it's Whoa, that recent? You're a murder machine. My eggs, I couldn't make them over easy. The yolks got hurt. So you murdered breakfast. <laughs> I guess... Nope, just not gonna say that joke. Just gonna <laughs> leave that one alone. Yay, we own the clothing store. Okay. Uh, I think we need to up our passion. Yep. Because it's low. Let's go work this cafe. Ooh, and that boosted our uh, airy time too. Activity or morality? Working just spins everything a lot faster, so I'm kind of interested in it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we got a lot of uh, cool. pivot. Why don't we trade cool. that in for some guts and morality? We work part time at a construction site. I'm constructing. <laughs> um. Where's the convenience store? Hang out yep. with you. I'm convenient. <laughs> oh, she sold the convenience store. Oh. I think we have one more day. Yes. One more phone conversation. So, ticket stubs? How do you feel about ticket oh, stubs, Oh, man. Ian? I'm assuming, you know what? I don't even need to assume anything. I'm generally not in favor of ticket stubs. Mm. Uh, in fact, I actually think that Apple's uh, uh, passbook system, I love that for tickets. Because it works well whenever it works for me. I mean, it's on your phone, which means you don't actually misplace your stub if you accidentally go out of the theater and you come back. Mm -hmm. um, the only reason I can think is if you're one of those people who want to uh, keep them for, for like yeah. memory reasons or scrapbooking. Or and that's, like, I think that's, every time generally. I see someone who does that, I think that's really cool. And I always think to myself, wow, I wish I'd done this 10 years earlier when it actually mattered. Now that I'm yeah. near death, really collecting these ticket stubs at this point, it seems like a. I think I I think I tried to when I was younger a little bit, um, but I never got like around to like doing like the other stuff and putting it in things, so they mostly just got lost. Um, scrapbooking is a lot of work. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. It, it really is. I wouldn't be worried about scrapping it. Booking, but just being able to look through ticket stubs. There's something about the physicality of it mm. is nice, as I can go through a... You were asking yesterday about the uh, best uh, anime openings and endings of the year. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, God, the easiest way to do this right now would be has to be looking at the charts. And I thought even that was kind of an annoying... Uh, annoying work. Would have been nice to just flip through a list. Mm -hmm. There's a shopping district activity event thing with uh with science girl i've forgotten all their names except for telephone pole which isn't actually her name nope it's her handle but that's what i'll call her uh shopping district that's the electronic store she's gonna drag down our cavalt yeah we got lots of cavalt to spare oh praise perfect timing I was thinking you were testing this tractor beam I've just developed. And what better way to test it than aiming at those Octojerk spaceship and pulling it to Earth? Oh, we 
to explain. A tractor beam is a wave that manipulates gravity. The original plan was to build the colossal insulation and put this thing onto it. But away we behold the fruits of my labor. Double excited. Power's out. Wait, what happened? Yeah, right there, back to- No, wait, I think that's you, actually. Right, back to the drawing board. Because it doesn't make sense for any people in the crowd to do that. Nope. Anyway, goodbye. Okay, I'll just stand here in the dark. The end. We hung out in the shopping district. We're not better friends yet. Uh... Let's go to the arcade. Volt back. I'm coin operated! I'm just kind of following some characters around so we can also friendship. Yeah, we should totally do that. I'm dry goods! I guess. Hey, there we go. Friend yeah. badge with you. Friend b -b -b badge Ooh. triggered an event movie. at the movie theater. Movies to rain your passion, but they yep. up your morals for some reason. Oh, are you here to collect flyers as well? You mean like movie flyers? Where's Jean Mark? Correct. You can know how you know how you can usually find other bands' flyers at live venues. That's what I'm referring to. There are many cases in which flyers in a theater will contain anything that's not yet hit the net. They're typically only available for a limited time, however. Who would have thought that something so ordinary could prove so important? I guess you're right! Not bad, not bad at all, I say. This year looks like it's been repacked with interesting films. Bounce! Quite a few sci-fi and superhero flicks. I mean, we've been drowning in superhero flicks for... Ever. Yep. I know this seems like somewhat of a tedious process, but it's important to have things like this that can serve our history. I have an idea! Why don't we make flyers too? Us? You mean metal club ones? Hmm, not a bad idea as far as I'm aware. We have no public concerts in the works, though. Flyers would be kind of pointless. Oh, you're right! We've been fighting aliens this entire time. We haven't had time for a proper concert in quite a while. But I can't say I particularly mind our current direction. I mean, we're at least getting practice in every two days. That's true, mystery voice. But <laughs> even I know we can't keep it like this forever. <laughs> see, fail rules, because we had to share it with others. That was your inside voice. <laughs> Me. <laughs> We hung out in the movie theater. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually... I don't have enough for group practice. Mm. I'm gonna do solo practice so mm. I can think, see a beat before we just jump right into the thing and I flail my arms around. Find out what the fresh beat is. Oh good, Toxic. And Talica. This was the one I did for that one song. It didn't suit it at all. Ah. Like this might take a couple tries. chain together. Which is... Yeah, there was a time where I hit this one and didn't seem to uh, mind. We don't have no. enough practice in that again. It's not not a stamina. stamina. Let's rock! <laughs> wow, that's the... We've got two modes. <laughs> not enough stamina. Go home. Not enough stamina. stamina. Let's rock. rock. 
Annoying sound. Kind of want that on a t-shirt. Not enough stamina, <laughs> comma, rock out. Are you the ones who... S oh, wait, this is you. I knew the ones who summoned us, the end. You have much nerve to call us slaves. And explain yourselves and... Oh, no, wait, this is... Explain yourselves and prepare for punishment. Should you disappoint us. <laughs> I can't believe you idiots fell for it. You're the ones who are going to be punished. How dare you pick on those poor innocent aliens! Today is the day we defeat you in the name of universal peace! I'll punish you! I mean, better to do that than in, in the name of Universal Studios. <laughs> in the name of Universal Studios, I will sue you! <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna arm flail. Scrap. Crap! The Octopoid spaceship! So, metal power! Time. Judas one time. Toxic 30 times. Tally, uh, tally, got. Oh, good. Okay. Those only happen once. I mean, you, you seem to get like the badge and then it doesn't like give it to you again. Ah, uh, yeah. Kaboom! We did it! We did it! Those aliens in the Earth should be saved at last. We can finally go back to being normal high school. Wait, this is, wait just a second. Wait just a second. Speaking of going back to normal. Crap, good point. Ah! Oh, she's moved to tears. Ah! Quiver. <laughs> Don't think you've won just yet. As we speak, our glorious space fleet is on its way. You're finished, Earthlings. Your planet will soon be. How are we supposed to get back to normal? Tell us! Um, now experimental system is administered by the mothership. Yes, if you were to use that system, you should be able to... The mothership! So we use that, we can go back to normal. When did that will it arrive? Huh? Uh... Two day delivery because hardcore gamers like two day delivery. Damn straight! I'm gonna throw in a firework cable! Once the mothership arrives, this planet is finished! Finished, we say! Their mothership! Out in space! Fuck it up! Next time! Oh, black holes and for realsies? Where? Ah! Uh. Oh. I get to observe a singularity. Right. Interstellar jams you played for us. Seventh gig. Cool. Next time. So, break time. Yeah, that takes us up to the break, which means we should probably 
clear out our backlog of Ah, oh, right. Subs, starting with Shadow Scythe, 77 for 10 months in a row. 10 months in the last month before I start my first job out of college. Good hey, luck with that. Congratulations, Tear. Ties Red Right Hand. Ties Red Right Hand, three months in a row. Thank you, Heather, Ian, and LRR for being awesome. Thank you for setting. Razdak, new subscriber, welcome to the channel. Solop Saudi, subscribing for nine months in a row, came for the medal, staying for laundry? Oh, <laughs> crap, I forgot my laundry, BRB. That's fair. Angry Optimist, 23 months in a row, lost track of time, nearly missed this. Hello, glad you made it. Yeah, Z Alpha, with 34 months in a row, this is the weirdest punkomatic mod I've ever seen. Zed Arthur for 20 months in a row. Welcome back. And Foxfire for 10 months in a row. Hey, Ian, do you have any ideas how to, any idea how to get liquor into BC from the States? I work at a distillery and I want to send in our presents. Walk it across is generally the only way I know of. Yeah, we, we, rec we often recommend not mailing it just because we've had stuff explode yeah. in mail time. And glass is, hard, is a thing you got to watch out for. And getting across the border is going to be real difficult. Uh, also, let's face it. They don't handle things well sometimes in the mail. No. Mungo Dude, three months in a row, perfect just in time for a break. But you made it anyway. Uh, also, sometimes uh, conventions, yeah. like, don't everyone, like, run out and bring all the drinks? Because depending on the convention, they have to drink it all before we leave. Yes. But uh, conventions are a good time as well. Yeah. You can usually find us and hand us bottles there. Great. That takes us up to the break. We'll be back with more Gal Metal after this Don't Go Away. Yeah, episode 7. Commercial's coming. It's slow. Don't mind. Hey, X-Flint. Yeah. All right, so... Hey, everybody. We're back. Yes. And uh, we got a badge for the 60. Yeah! So we can save. Interstellar James. <laughs> the Interstellar James we played. Huh. Ging Octo, we will be arriving on Earth within 12 Octo days. I see. The opening is heavy enough to detect all that's correct. Correct, my liege. Only ships in the immediate vicinity can see us through our cloaking barrier. How do you tell from a commander on the ground? Nothing since we lost contact seven days ago. That's one less than an octo day. Likewise, there have been no signals from the auto commander's ship. Humph! Which means he must have been taken captive by the openings. All ships prepare for combat. The time has come to show the earthlings our true power. Wow. Hey, thief. Fish, you were here. Get back here. My foolish fool, this Octodash is inaudible. Not even your swiftest land man will soon catch me. Cut the fishy business, Octotwerp, and give that man back his wares. Curses, you again. You sure do make yourself cozy and stuff. Eventually, this trading hub will fall under our rule. Is that so? And when that happens, all your kind scale delicacies will belong to my stomach. Think again, buddy. We're keeping the peace around here. Oh, you fool! What? What? Seriously? You fell for that? Uh, so, but come on. Uh, all oh, those tentacles shirk sure make can move. Wow, text from a car. <laughs> Swing by the club laundromat tonight. There's an experiment I want to try. Oh, no, not another experiment. Question mark. <laughs> you know, okay, so big screens. Yes or no? Heck yes. Because I'm assuming we're talking about mobile devices. I mean, ooh, okay. Uh, See, that's the thing. I don't make any assumptions before. Oh, I do, but okay, okay. If you're talking about mobile devices, uh, that's a hard one. I'm going to say sometimes. Mm. 
Mm. And depending uh, on what, what also is a definition of large. I think for me, large means anything that's too big for what I, for probably whether it's carrying or using. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I think I think the iPhone Plus is too big mm -hmm. for me, for what I use it for. Uh, and if I wanted a bigger screen, I get an iPad. Mm -hmm. But but you're right, big screens like TVs. Yeah, like I think yeah, I, a wall. I want yeah. a big screen or right on a uh, or a monitor. Yeah. I would definitely prefer a, a big screen. Yeah. Like I've got two monitors in, in my setup with where one's a nice big bigger screen like this and one's a much smaller one mm -hmm. and I definitely like having the bigger screen. Yeah. Like I think honestly m pretty much every screen that's out today is big in could be big enough for mm -hmm. one for a number of things. It's I'm just glad we're beyond the point of, you know, the olden days of of old cell phones like this is too small to do the watch screen. Most things. Yeah, I'm, but at the same time, it is a watch. It's meant to have a limited functionality. Exactly. It's, it's not supposed to have... Well, it's also not supposed to have a big screen. Yeah. You don't want a big watch. Yeah. Hmm. wonder what they now, were talking about. Now, now, big screen movie theater or, or big screen at home TV? And under the assumption that you could make the movie theater... Uh, a nice place to be and not have to be with other human beings. Uh, just like you can at home. Okay. Mm. But you don't have like access to like your kitchen and stuff. I watch more at home than I do at the movie theater. I'd rather have a nicer experience at home. Yeah, okay. Speaking of the movie theater. We're going there, we're apparently. We're going there. Because there's an event. With Shimi and Luna. Don't know what her actual name is now and don't care. Yeah, for those of you who maybe don't know, Ian is doing uh, Luna's British voice. I think it's a reasonable facsimile too. Which is the uh, is the which is an English thing in the first season. I think. For, I think they traded her out in the second season. I thought they got her or was all the way like she went through R at least. She was still very yeah. Okay. British. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, whoops. No, wrong movie. God, I watched Lupin the Third and the Fuma Conspiracy last night. Beautiful animation. None of the voices were right at all, and not once during the movie did they play the Lupin the Third theme. It was. Are, are you allowed to? Have... I don't know that you are. What? Like the and, and the, the entire soundtrack, none of it was. There was no jazz from Yuji Ono. It was very. That's weird. Yeah, everything was bad except for the animation, which was spectacular. Well, at least something was good. Yeah. I okay. recommend people watch it. Ellipses. So, about that last scene. Perhaps I missed something, but I think it was a happy ending. No way. That was anything but happy. I'm going to pretend that we're talking about the Utena movie. Yes, that is the Utena movie. We gotta figure it out, it's gonna drive me bonkers! This calls for a round of debate over a hot steaming plate! Alright, family restaurant, cool to you? I was gonna shit in the parking lot, but okay, sure! So, I know both of them, like, basically race out on a skateboard nude, but what? Sorry, the Utena movie, not those two. <laughs> to the family restaurant on my skateboard. Strip <laughs> down! It's very important. Uh, alright. Doesn't look like there's any new events, so basically, who do we want to hang out with? Uh, hmm. I think we're all level one up with, with all of them, so... Do you... Uh, let's go with Bowhair Girl. Because we haven't done much with her recently. The arcade? Yeah. operated, etc. Uh, do we want to double up? Let's, let, you know, let's check our levels with the various girls. Uh, where do I do that? Why? I'm gonna gather the band. Right. So, we've got one friendship point with her. Yeah. 
We're almost actually at sub level two, it looks like. She's close to uh, level point. Yeah, we need to level one her too. So, so yeah, let's. That's us. We don't. We're not friends with ourselves. No. Got a friendship point and you. So yeah, I think we should. We should hang out with. Uh, Manny. Bow hair. Uh, she's at the cafe. Yeah, we can get our passion up too while we're at yeah. it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we're friends. And that unlocked a shopping district event. During the metal club, I've gotten a lot more freedom to be out. That's rad! Isn't it? Except I'm just not sure what to do tonight. What about an arcade? Or maybe karaoke? Going by myself would be rather lonely. Are you asking me out? We should hang out with her. Uh, how about we do something together? Am I asking you out? Oh uh, yeah, let's go do karaoke right now. Okay, rock on. Yeah, come with me. Then those people moving back and forth looked like a yeah. thing. <laughs> Alright, so we've got first level friendship with everyone. Uh this is day of concert. We should do a solo practice to find out what the uh what the oh, rhythm is right that's now. That's a good idea. Or maybe group practice? Yeah, I don't know. We have enough to do group practice. Yeah. Uh do you want to? Sure. I think yeah. I took the last one. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting the uh <laughs> see what the recommended beat is. Yes. Oh. Get comfortable. Get away from the table. I tried table. to do the secondary beat for the last one and flailed a lot. Ooh, Mad Coming Maiden. You. Puppets. Noticed, yeah, the uh, the colors of the controllers and the colors of uh, the thing are flipped from what we're playing. But I think we have flipped controllers. Which, by what I mean is, we use the other set. So these these would be the ones that would normally be on. A switch, which means they would line up. We we've got different ones. The other ones on for some reason. Yep. So that is that is not a fault of the game. We it's could mostly what I want to say about that. We could flip ourselves video wise. <laughs> okay. Defend the Earth. Powers of metal. I'm on my own. So, what's a dealio? Do people say dealio anymore? I don't think so. Hey, I'm preparing an experiment to discover the truth behind why metal is so effective against the octoids. To that end, I built a beauty. I dubbed him Mecha Octoid Unit Zero One. How's this chrome gnome supposed to help? Mecha Octoid accumulates the waveforms of our metal performance and runs them against the data of our battles with the octoids. And it dissects and analyzes what was so effective from said merged oh, data. really is a Luna. Got it! So we basically all we gotta do is rock, right? What's rock? Rocking! Rock! It's all I do! Back and forth in my rocking chair. Yup! 
I'm an old lady! Old lady drumming! I like that this was the episode we fought a robot. Yeah. Crush that. Ooh, structure bonus. Yeah. Metal power. Yeah. The, Get oh, all the badges. The things from that I am very moral <laughs> cool you may go <laughs> oh yeah mm -hmm. right skip the replay hell yeah I'm, well, I'm very glad that they they, they do that yeah but because that's a neat it's a nice feature I'm glad they also let us skip it hmm. I don't figure anything out Didn't figure anything out. Try and keep it in layman's terms before you even speak once. Essentially, there's been created in the center of our metal music. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, so metal is really wonderful. Strongest. I doubt it's that simple. As long as we have the power of metal, Earth is safe. No point in thinking about it too hard, right? Let's just focus on beating them with our drumsticks. Sure. Metal forever! Particles. So, so, but like from the brief scan I did of those words, it basically sounded like metal music somehow equals metal particles that we're throwing at them. Great. Through sound. Which, I mean, I could have misread, but I choose not to. Metal forever! Next episode. How are you supposed to pronounce this? Uh, what about the art mark? Why are they here? <laughs> Who knows? Seventh gig clear. Ska. Save your game, just in case you get a game over. Meanwhile, back in the plot. It's not been real nice. It's been real nice not having to deal with Octo Jerks lately. Actually, you yeah, mentioned I haven't seen them around the shopping arcades lately. That's a good thing, right? All this talk about those aliens making me kind of sentimental. Then I'll grab, think I'll grab some taco yaki on the way home. <laughs> Ooh, I think that's you. How many times do I have to tell you eating while walking is against the rules? That is against the rules, isn't it? Yes, yes. it is. You don't do that in Japan. Shut up, you Lego-headed! Well, okay. Seven eat dang teacher's pet. Rules are rules. Even if you losers are in the metal club, you gotta follow them. You what? What you say to my face? I'll have you know, I have a black belt or something. The, the entire world what? Black belt? What's your problem? I was just about to give Rika a taste of 
Calm down. The whole alien thing hasn't been made of the public yet, and she knows she hates takoyaki. Can you hear us, Earthlings? You again? How are you communicating with us? You're broadcasting from nearby. What? What? You jerks! Shigawa cuts come guts cuts guts coming to our school. We've come to a conclusion. You should no longer persist with this foolish fighting. You're the ones who decided to invade us. And for that, you have our apologies. That is why we have a offer we would like to present to you. We would like to draft a peace treaty between us humans and the Octoids. Correct. If you wish to cooperate with us, please meet us atop this building in three days' time. Oh, you know something's fishy when we get three days instead of two. You know it's fishy when we're dealing with octopuses, because they smell like fish, even though they're not. And one of the few things in the world that smells like fish that's not a fish. It's fish. Fish sauce. Which is technically not fish, it's made from fish. An octopus! Uh-huh. Those are the three things that smell like fish that aren't fish. Even though I said one of them was fish. It's because I, I kind of seized up. Forgot one of them. Uh-huh. The other one was fish sauce. Now I'm just reiterating what I literally just said. <laughs> so just so we're clear. three days. Also, the pitter patter ran through our schoolyard. We look angry. I, I am angry. <laughs> Are you angry that you, you labeled fish sauce? It's because I'm reading a book about salt and they were just talking about fish sauce as I was coming in. Okay. Salt is fascinating. But important question. Yes. Spicy foods, yes, no. Hi, why? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm. Oh, okay. So, you know, for some reason, I didn't peg you as a spicy foods person. Uh, I mean, I don't like go out of my way to eat spicy food, but I do enjoy spicy food. I just don't like things like jalapenos. I don't like the way they taste. Okay, no, that's that's fair because they definitely have a taste. Yeah, I I like I like um, banana peppers mm -hmm. are pretty good. Um, I don't I haven't, don't think I've gone done anything like hugely spicy I probably wouldn't uh, go like really high on the spice level it's like what about maybe like, a medium what about like a, a red uh, so you get a bowl of pho mm -hmm. assuming you get, you get a bowl of pho uh, do you put the red chili in or do you leave I, it out I don't put it in because I don't know what it tastes like okay usually is, is my thing because yep, I don't I'm hesitant to accidentally ruin my food that's yeah I guess it, is, yeah is my thing and I know certain restaurants they say something is hot and then it's not hot but then you go to another restaurant and it's way too spicy because it's maybe not a spice level I've gotten well, comfortable with especially with a bowl of soup like that where if you do put it in and you get it wrong you've ruined the whole thing and you can't go back there's no maybe it's something else you can scrape the sauce off the top I guess yeah and I mean spicy foods aren't like an all-the-time food thing for me but I do enjoy them interesting good chat Oh well. Fast food. Hey. That seems convenient. <gasps> Scripted. It's a video game. Come to me, crow children. You know it's the end of the day when the crows are going home. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're playing at the fast food joint, though. Oh, we ain't playing. We're hanging out. Yeah. Do you ever have issues at work? Is this where I work? Should I be talking about my issues at work here? Uh, sure. Like, you know? You know? I don't know! Uh, even I got stuff I just can't deal with. Like, it's less that I got issues, more that I gotta watch my back. Hey, here's a question. Do you, do you think my parents miss me? Like the boy me that just disappeared like I, five days ago? I mean... This is an anime, right? Do you even have parents? You're probably one of those ones that we're living alone anyway, right? Probably! It's terrifying! Yeah, like how many kids don't have parents just living in single apartments all on their own? It's, it's dangerous! Yeah, and they're I mean, all like 15 somehow! Wait! 
They yeah. can't cook for themselves. We're all 15? Maybe. I, we're in high school, right? Are you 15 in high school? I don't remember. I think you can be. Maybe if you start late. Yeah, cause I, I was I started driving when I started high school. Ooh, who became tight? Whoa! Getting in out. Oh Ow. man, that you know what that means? We can probably train Pokemon for less Stardust. I think you're right. Oh, yeah. sorry, your hands okay. This is not how people become tight. <laughs> Clunk. Uh, uh, there's a convenience store event. <laughs> Oh, good. Let's... Oh, look, everybody's there. Shit. Everybody's hanging out at the convenience store. They're probably store. giving away animation merchandise. You know what? There's probably a new drink with a tiny figurine oh attached my God, to it. it is. God, our, God, our stores suck here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've never seen this on the menu. That chicken is calling my name. You want to order it? Because it's calling my name, but I. I I want to surprise it. I want to sneak up on it because I don't want it to know that I'm coming for it. Apprehension makes the food taste worse, I guess, but I'm pretty broke. Um, well, okay, I'll, I'll treat you. I'll pay for it. But you order it. No! I can't be in- I won't be in debt to you even for the cup of a price of coffee! Okay, okay, then how about this? How about I lend you the money? Which, I guess is what you just said no to. I mean... But how can you turn down that Twitter handle? <laughs> mm, that does seem good, chicken-wise. I'll pay you back with next dunk's allowance, I promise, even though I said that's exactly what I was wanting to do. It's okay. I mean, we, we, we both know I'm not going to ask for it back anyway. Just trying to get you to... Oh, my! Look, Prez and Chimi are here! All right, you know what? Chicken's on me! Oh god, you mean like in sushi restaurants? No, no, like I'm gonna pay for it and everyone can have some. That's much better and more socially acceptable. That's our shimi. Socially acceptable shimi, that's what we call her. <laughs> we never get to do what I want to do. That's a... Just make a person to lie down so we can eat fried chicken. <laughs> it's very oily. Hey, Guts Badge. <laughs> Good for us. <laughs> I mean, it took Guts to go to the convenience store. It should, yeah, I mean, with, with... With all of our friends. Well, you know Shimi, I mean. I know Shimi. She'll just wreck a bucket of chicken. Let's go. We have. Oh, we got less points. Let's go to the general store. More yes, morality. morality. Cool, cool. Um. What can get us activity? Oh, I feel like we're like. If we can get activity and passion at the same time, which I don't think is possible. Oh, no, we can if we go to the photo, photo? studio. Sure. It takes down our guts, but that's fine. We got lots of guts. Yeah. We got guts to spare. This might be enough to... Not enough Oh, not enough to knock us both over. Um, we still have a couple days, so we don't have to practice yet. Um, Vault is just over the top. There was something. Yeah, but I really want to up. I'm just gonna go back to the photo studio again. Japanese schools were very strict about having a part-time job after school. Uh, it depends on on the school, really. And I think I think some schools do allow for exceptions if you get permission mm -hmm. as well. So yes and no. Speaking of yes and no. Soft boiled. Yeah. 
Uh, well, you said last time that you didn't want to make any assumptions about what they mean, so soft foiled. Uh, you know, most of the time, I. Oh, that's a good point. So the only thing can you I, can you under a whole general umbrella say yes or no to soft boiled? I absolutely cannot too because some things I boil to make them soft, and some things get less soft the more I boil them. So I can't because if I want things to be soft because I'm boiling them, I want them to get soft. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say no on that one as well because mm. I mean. It's going to depend on what you're talking about, and <laughs> I mean, subboil equals justice somehow, yep. but uh, I really just, I can't soft boil everything. It's not good for certain plastics. No, no. It's certainly not good for my phone. No. Um, it's good for eggs. Yeah, uh, potatoes? Potatoes. I mean, I think potatoes are gross, personally, okay. unless they're deep fried, so I, I wouldn't even go near the potato. Cabbage, then. Uh, uh, okay. I, wanted, yeah. I just wanted to disagree with their conversation because yeah. I don't know what they're talking about. And we haven't talked about eggs yet either. I prefer my big, my my eggs um, uh, slightly more than soft boiled. Okay, but what about for something like, say, a pickled egg? Beach has gotten it down to a science to make the eggs creamy, and that still kind of freaks me out a little bit because I'm not used to that. Yeah, because I'm really not used to that. And they're real. They're really delicious, oh. but um, it still weirds me out. So I actually would still. prefer them to be hard boiled. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not even sure I want to try the the uh, d d again because of the, the the weirdness of the texture. It feels like it would just be too much for me to, to for a creamy pickled egg. It's it's definitely different. The word creamy and pickle just never feels like it goes together ever. We're going to a clothing store, though. Oh, creamy pickle clothing store. We got to get those outfits. You know, that's the one thing I really like this game to have is costumes. More outfits. Actually, to be honest, if I were to open up a clothing store in Shibuya, I would probably name it Cre Creamy Pickle, and I would have it. I, I would have the the sign for the store would be like a partially, and it would be cut out in the outline of a partially squished toothpaste tube that had Creamy Pickle written on it. Well, a little bit's coming up the end. Anyway, want to check out clothes? Uh, no. Oh. Maybe if it had like, I don't know, skeletons or horn signs or something. I'd grab anything with those on them. I like you. You're definitely, you, you'd enjoy my rhythm costume games. <laughs> Wonder if they have any. Pumpkin oh. heads, yes. Pumpkin heads with with horns coming through the eyes. Dog tails. I'll accept Vikings as well. Swimsuits. It doesn't look like they have any of these things. Uh, don't do this to me. Uh, let's try somewhere else. All right, you're coming with me till we find something, Rinko. Oh God, which way to finish shops? Wait, what? You're made of cardboard. It's not hard to pick you up. Uh, uh. We hung out in the clothing store. Hey, our activity is at 40. Nice. Yeah! Badge for that. Activity badge! Okay, I know we've gotten the 40 guts badge because it's just come down a bit. Uh, I'd like to get our passion up, but I'd also want to hang out with people. No, I mean. Cafe. She's yeah. There. I also want to get some of these friendship events. Oh, hey, we're tight with Aerie. Yeah! Tight! <laughs> Going to the electronic store. Uh, electronic store. Electronic store is bad for your morality, but it's good for you to bolt. Can you sous vide an egg? That seems oh, like something yeah. you can sous vide. It's one of the things that it's best at. Friends, I mean, no, no, that's not the voice at all. <laughs> Friends, I made an android that looks exactly like Ellie. You what? But why? This 
This is horrific! Yeah! Perez. It's funny because we came here because Ari was hanging out here. It didn't see. Yeah. Uh. Looks like we went and scared her off. Don't put it all on me, Harry. Your android impersonation was perfectly on point. Ah, uh, okay. I really thought she'd done it. She, she, like, she made that other robot. Uh. Like, why not? We hung out at the yeah. electronic store and got some cobalt. Level 60 cobalt. I'm assuming it maxes out at 100. That would make sense. Because... If that's at 60, that seems about right. Um, oh god, you're right, G-Dwarf. That was a near reference. God damn it! <laughs> what was? The Glory to Mankind. Oh, I've not I've not actually played near. I know I know a good portion about like the endings and stuff, because I've listened to enough podcasts. I think you might enjoy it. Um, it's it plays nice and easy. It's worth checking out at least. Yeah, I've seen I've seen a lot of the um, optional things you can do into it, mm -hmm. which seems nice. We need to bring passion up. What's the shady shop? The sketchy shop? Yeah. Um, I don't know, but it will bring our profession up, so sure. Our passion up, so I'll take it. Um. That looked, uh, shady. Yeah. We it sure looked like a place that might have had some of the pumpkin head things we were asking for. And also these very badges, to be honest. Going home. Lost all our stamina at the, at the shady shop. <laughs> Working at the shady shop. Yeah, this is a world where you can apparently just walk into a store and say, hey, I want to work for you for about five minutes. So, solo karaoke. Oh, okay, I'm going to ask your opinion first on this one. Um, just in, well, I'm assuming because solo karaoke, no one else is there. So mm -hmm. yes. If it's somehow for only you and crowd of people, no. Mm. Like yeah, that's like, that, that that's just you doing karaoke at people. Yeah, because they don't want to be there. Well, because I assume when they say solo karaoke, they might be mis they might be meaning you're up on the stage on your own. Oh, okay. Doing it solely as opposed to like a duet. I would still do that. I would not. Ah. Okay. I uh, I honestly don't generally do karaoke because it it's not my jam mm -hmm. um uh because i'm a little bit too self-conscious about that stuff mm -hmm. I, and i don't think i perform well which maybe i do maybe i don't but i i makes me uncomfortable so yep that's fair uh, like at, at worst, I come in and hang out with everyone, but then I feel bad because I'm taking up space in the room. Because generally, we go do the room karaoke. Ah, see, um, that's, that's and then you have to pay, and you have to pay for that. Yeah. So that's that. That that I can be that can feel a little bit weird. Yeah. yeah. Like I know Corey really likes going and doing karaoke, mm -hmm. um, and I always feel bad because I'm like, well, I don't really want to go do that, but I do want to hang out. But I also don't want to pay like. Money to hang out. Fifteen bucks to hang out. Yeah. To enter, because the, there's money for food on top of that, right? Yeah. Like that's. And usually the food and entering to a karaoke place is not that it's it's not, expensive. Not, yeah. Not like it is in Japan. So. I like that people like doing karaoke. <laughs> like I've hung out at parties where karaoke happens, that's, and, and yeah. amongst friends, that's okay. I don't mind it when we do like uh, the parties where everyone gets together and then we're like group singing songs badly. I, I join in for that, but mm -hmm. you know, don't give me the microphone. There we go. But we're gonna go to karaoke in the game now. We totally are. <laughs> you don't have to come along. <laughs> me, just me and the president. Oh, what fun we'll have at karaoke. It's no jokey! We can take our guts away. We will up our passion, so that's something. Can the power of metal be drawn out through karaoke? I've tested this, in fact. Wow, and what are your results? 
Frankly, it's not a full-on live performance. It hardly counts. But we play our metal, our minds and bodies into what athletes call the zone. This is a necessary step to process, you see. And ah, my head! I have no clue what you're talking about. All right, well, basically, by all of us coming together to play in perfect unison, we're able to draw out metal's incredible power. You know what? I bet I would love watching the anime of this show. Absolutely. Especially if they cast me in the role of this person. It'd be truly fascinating to see. Not that I get the details, but cool. Cool. So basically, as long as we're together, we're unbeatable. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant, but sure. Because I could just, I could just see the anime of this being, being basically like a little bit of, uh, this stuff, but also like the girl band. I, I kind of basically think of this as, as Beck, all girl band fighting aliens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the question is, should this actually tight? Tight. Should, should this become an anime? Uh huh. Do we commit to actually? dubbing at least one episode as a fan dub. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think I think we could do that. We can throw it on on a YouTube channel that under a name that that isn't really being used in case it gets pulled down. <laughs> that definitely can't go on the lure one probably. Absolutely not. Uh rental shop. There it is. Morkavilt. Get that quilt. This is kind of the blue, but are there any movies about aliens and humans getting along? Yes, you are correct. That is ever the blue. Yes, it's weird that you're asking about movies in a movie store. I mean, it's just, we're always fighting aliens, right? And they're always the ones attacking us, so I get why, but, uh... It'd be nice to think that they could be nice to us and we could be nice friends together and be nice. And as far as I'm concerned, we burn like it's a living species. This is precisely my jam! But anyway, I have a few ideas in regards to your proposal. I'll look into it for you. You will! Thank you! Of someone who's explored this vastness of subculture space, this is nothing. Using music to become friends with aliens. Wonder if that were possible to do it in a movie about an alien spacecraft that crashed to Earth on an island and then people made transforming robot fighters out of them, but then some people came down and then they made a second one where a person piloted the jet player plane that could turn into a robot with a guitar that's inside the cockpit and it would be called Macross 7 and it totally existed and it's called Macross 7. I just want to see what our friendship levels are before I pick where to go next. Uh, oh, yeah, level three. We're, you're not at level. We're working on you for level three. You're not at level two. Oh yet, yeah, we need to work on her. So yeah. Yeah, so. we need to grind this some many. Uh, she's at the cafe. Coming to hang out at the cafe. This, kids, is why you don't turn Find My Friends on. Because <laughs> the friends that you've got who are trying to min-max your relationships will, will track you and just hang out with you to increase their levels. Oh, I do kind of remember there was a day where I had, I had some, we, we were all like starting to use the, not, it wasn't Find My Friends, but there was like a share your location Thing that was kind of starting to go oh, around yeah. and some of my friends had used it and then one person who I was like friends with but didn't always want to hang out with if I saw them put in a request and I was just like no and I pretended I didn't use it mm, this is like no because if I see you on that and you can see me and you specifically come over to say hi I'm gonna be running away uh oh that takes us down to we still have time for a practice, though, after that. I think. Oh, right. I was reading remaining time for some reason. I was like, that takes us down to seven? That's weird. Okay. She's so happy. We're going to end up maxing out our cabal before anything else. 
Well, when you live life the way we do, you're always consulting. You technically can go to the movie theater, actually. But it's do you want to get your beats in before? Uh, we can't. If we go to the movie theater, we won't have enough for, for no. practice. So... Oh, uh, we're really close on passion. We'll go to the cafe, it's worth five. Yeah. My passion is drinking coffee. Acceptive. No. Shuffle death. <laughs> Lipno. Lipno. I acceptive shuffle death. Lipno headworks. That's my favorite band. Shuffle Death is good. Shuffle Death might be a reference to Shuffle Demons, maybe? Hmm. Fight aliens? Fight aliens. 10 p.m. Fight aliens every day. I'm here to discuss the peace treaty! So you actually come, I see. Peace, you say. You foolish of fools. Earth is finished. Foolish fool of fools. That's foolish a reference. Fool of fools. Earth. That's a reference, but I can't remember from what. The foolish fool, fool of fools. Uh, that that that's a reference to. Chat will tell us, I think. <laughs> Your text no longer have any effect on us. Behold, our anti-metal particle weapon. Right, it's a Phoenix Wright reference. Nice. It's, it's uh, Francesca. Karma. Yep. Oh, that's also a reference. <laughs> <laughs> the dark metal particle generator. An anti-metal particle weapon! Oh shit, we're just getting... It's going down! <laughs> We're gonna feed you them particles! Destroy the dark metal particle generator 70,000 metal particles or above to clear! Are you ready?
going a little fast for the... Yeah. I wasn't quite getting the... Nice! Oh, no, so it was fine. That's all we need. <laughs> As always, Rhythm Cafe, we only need to be good enough. Yep. Impossible! Your power is greater than ours. Metal forever, baby! We did it! Manipulating the three dimensions of the metal particles are capable of running into mess. greater than impossible to do anyway! No matter how many times you try, the results will always be the same! Let's stop this meaningful fighting! <laughs> Fools of foolishness! You were completely oblivious that this whole peace treaty nonsense was simply a means by which to buy time. What's that noise? <gasps> God damn it! Always arrive. Bid farewell to your friends. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Emergency. <laughs> Things happened. Approximately thirty minutes ago. Next time. Ah. You've got to eat that yogurt. How did you? Yogurt? Did you actually have that yogurt? Really? Did you? Did you know yogurt is full of bacteria? Oops. Uh, oh well. Whoops. Let's save the game. And call it. That's right. Wow, it's been a good episode of Rhythm Cafe here. I've been enjoying myself. <laughs> get into the voice, it's hard to get out. Yeah, oof. Mm. It's, it's, it's true though, because you almost want to stick with it. Because if you if you leave out, it can be hard to get back in. Yeah, it's yeah, because it's about getting into a character, and as much as also being the voice. You had a couple of scenes that were all three of your characters all at once. Oh yeah, which, which is a little rough. Jumping characters is something I've become better at, but is still super hard. All right, should we finish up with these subs? Yeah, we should. We've got uh, Him Mule subscribing for twenty six months in a row. This should say 2K for 12 months in a row. The block cheering us with 123 bits saying that I like Ian's Extreme Teen Girl Squad voices persisted. The Bit Noir for 45 months in a row. Welcome back. And the Mad Doll Maker subscribed for 13 months in a row. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming in and giving us your uh, your bits and your subs here on Twitch.tv. Or for those of you who choose to show your support by subscribing over it to uh, Patreon.com slash loading ready run that's your place to go to go to patreon and of course loading ready run.com for all the great shows both pre-recorded and improvised in nature as well as our schedule to find out what's happening when speaking of which uh tomorrow's monday there yes. should be a checkpoint yes. uh dice friends is the week after so you won't yes. find that tomorrow night uh and then tuesday happens yep which is normal tuesday it's enough I, I know I, I do know that for New Day Tuesday, I think the game is just cause four. Okay. Um, right. But the other streams are roughly what they usually are, PUBGs and whatnot. Okay. Um, uh, and for our stream next week, we we do want to finish this game. Yeah. But we have a different plan for next week, so we'll be coming back to this game at a later date. Do we? We want to tell them what we're no, planning next no, week? We'll... Okay, I guess you'll just have to wait until later yeah, to find out. It, it'll come out, but... Uh, Maybe James will update that event schedule, it's, and then it's, you'll know. It's special and fun, and you'll you'll enjoy it all, I'm sure. Hey, Heather. Yes, Ian? Uh, wait, I've heard you stream. What? I don't yeah. think that's right. I, I, I think you stream at some point. Wait, wait, if the best people are to watch you streaming, not here at the cafe. I, I suppose I do stream a little bit over okay. on uh, twitch.tv slash lunarjade, oh. and uh, you can find me at Twitter on, at lunarjade as well. Uh, today was day 367 of 365, so yeah, I stream a little bit. Okay, uh, good, I'm, yeah. I'm going. I'm going till Tuesday before I take a break, so I can hit that, you know, that that number that divides by three, mm. 369. It's very, such a, a good very number. Very good number. Mm -hmm. very How about good. you, Ian? I... 
stream as well occasionally over to twitch.tv slash tiltyhouse and of course you can find us at tiltyhouse on twitter and on mastodon so if you want to follow us off the bird site uh, we do fun stuff check it out right i think that is all all the business yep that brings us to the end of this broadcast day here at loading ready run join us next week won't you for more fun rhythmy fun and other kinds of fun fun <laughs> Goodbye. Good fun. <laughs> <laughs>